Hey, what's up, guys? Vimpure coming at you with another one of these videos. We're going to be playing Legion TD um, PRCC Mix 3. Sorry, I literally completely forgot to, <laughs> to talk there. I thought I was playing, I was going to say Hellholt, but I, we're obviously not playing Hellholt. Uh, Legion TD, it's been a while uh, with, we, that we played this one. I feel like it's such a, it's a new version. It's 7.0, so there's been a few changes here and there. Uh, map is looking pretty spicy. There's been some very nice changes, and I feel like I'm excited to see... Um, how do these ones do play out in the future? They did sense, so that might be a problem. So we're playing times three, so obviously it's three times the amount of sense. Hopefully I don't leak here. I need to stop challenging champions for crying out loud. Obviously I'm leaking because of the dino, but Jesus Christ, man. I'm actually a little bit tilted. Oh, we got really good units though. Man, you gotta be kidding me right now. How am I leaking this? Such a bad start to the video. Everyone's leaking. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I did this intro like so many times and I was really freaking hoping that I would hold that. But how in, on God's green earth am I leaking round one with three elite archers? How does that make any freaking sense? Man, this man is tilted. This man does not. And I freaking sent instead of like upgrading king. I'm literally playing this like such a pepega. Oh man, I, I don't even want to watch. I'm probably just going to cut the video, go cry a little bit, and uh, be back. And we lose one heal. Oh my god, that literally tilts me so much. I can't believe it. we just did that. I literally had to just like walk a little bit just because I was so freaking tilted for that start of the video. <laughs> so welcome back to one of these videos, guys. i um, excited to uh, bring you guys Legion to the has been just such a fun map to play, to be honest. Um, even though, you know, we do have some hiccups here and there. It does happen to the best of us, I feel like. And uh, this guy casually stalled the game a little bit more than it, you know, should have been. But it is what it is. So guys, I mean, I mean this is a, just a fun map. Let's be honest, right? We did use this for a tournament, which we did host a little bit earlier this, um, well, a little bit before, I think a few months back, which was super su su successful. Jesus Christ, I can't even talk. The thing is, I've recorded this a few times, and now I'm starting to lose a little bit of my mind. I'm not gonna lie. So we do have some. I need to build some tires. I don't know what, maybe like a captain, like what will make my, I literally am not going to challenge a champion. That's completely retarded if I do. I just want to know if I want to do a captain, maybe like a troll. I feel like troll is so important. Like I, I'm just going to go for troll. The endurance aura or uh, attack speed aura, it's just going to be so freaking powerful like game. So I feel like I'm going to benefit from so much instead of going for uh, captains or even protons. So we're not pushing. We're playing very safe here. I do not want to leak whatsoever. So yeah, we're going to be upgrading these zombies and we should have enough DPS with the uh, elite archers. No, so, rough start to the game, but hopefully we can pick it back up and hopefully uh, stabilize and kind of carry my team. So guys, Legion TD, we played it in the tournament. I feel like that was super fun. If you guys want to see more tournaments like that, leave it, uh, let me know that in the comments and which maps you guys want to, you know, um, want me to implement in one of these tournaments again? It's I feel like uh, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, it it kind of depends which we really want to put, but I feel like it uh, takes a little bit of time to figure out which maps are the best for a tournament um, setting. But if you guys have more input on that, let me know that in the comments. But speaking of feedback. I need your guys' input on something, right? I've been cutting the videos a little bit, editing them. I feel like some people are enjoying the, the new editing style because I used to upload pretty much only raw clips, right? So I feel like me adding this, like, kind of ref refining to a video makes it a little bit more fun to watch personally. I don't know how, what you guys think about it. Some people have had some mixed feelings about it, and I do appreciate the feedbacks, even, even though it's could be ne negative or positive, I don't really matter. It doesn't really matter, as long as I'm getting some sort of feedback from you guys. Oh, shoot, I got a call. I do apologize about that. I'm still recording a video, so I am going to call the guy back. He's supposed to talk to me about freaking uh, cryptocurrency, which... Uh, I see some some people in my entourage getting into a little bit. Are you guys into cryptocurrency? I feel like it's something I need to 
uh, inform myself into. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's... I don't believe in it personally unless, you know, I, I guess I get conv convinced about it. But I don't know. Let's not. It's off topic, guys. Let's talk a little bit about the game itself. We're playing PRCC mix times three. So essentially, we're sending three. Uh, every time you send a unit, it sends the amount three times. And um, you get, we get a different mix of uh, towers every round. And we also have CC, which is challenge champion. So you have the opportunity to challenge a champion if you wish to do so. It, it is pretty much at will. So you kind of choose whenever you want to challenge a champion or not. Um, okay, so we're getting some good units, some good auras, which we are going to be using um, in the future. I think we're going to be going for... The thing is, I'm like barely holding. Endurance aura is working very well for me. But again, this these the thing is with Legion TD, man, for some reason, it is so difficult. Early level units are very good. For example, these this um, hatchlings are, I've, I've used before and they're god tier. Man, they're so freaking good. I'm gonna be, I'll, I'll show it to you guys right now how overpowered these hatchlings are. Unless this guy, like there's been some updates, right? So the prices have changed slightly, just letting you guys know in advance. So m some prices, so I mean, this used to be very cost efficient and might have changed. So let's check it out. For example, Colt used to be 20, now it's 40 to uh, to get. 50 is still the same upgrade. Let's see how much it costs. Okay, it's still very cost efficient. Wow. We're actually going to be getting a few of them. Man, this is so good. Because it does... Look at... So the cost efficiency of this is absurd. Because the thing is, like, it's very bad late game, obviously. But the early game... It carries you. The thing is, it costs zero. It doesn't cost me anything to, to build that thing, right? It's going to be going for one more aura. Go for one. And this should be perfect. That's perfect use of my gold right there. So we got two butchers, which are completely overpowered. S tier for sure. They have freaking lifesteal. Uh, frozen uh, frost shield. Plus eight armor, casually, just saying. Um, the end, I think they have Plague, which reduces the amount of damage. So how broken is that? They have three abilities. Like, that's disgustingly broken. Um, so yeah, anyways, we have, you know, the Tree of Time, which is going to be very valuable. Uh, Frost Armor doing a crazy amount of work here. Uh, so we're going to be pushing a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, expecting my team to leak a lot here. I'm even probably going to leak too, because, you know, these butchers are not going to stay alive for too long. Oof, yeah, I mean, the opponent team sent on the right round, which is this one here. So we do have some my teammates that are holding. I'm not going to be leaking much. I can afford to push a little bit. Just be Oh, we're not going to be leaking? Hopefully we aren't. The thing is, I'm going to be taking significant, significant more amount of damage from this. Yeah, we're barely going to be holding. That's huge. Because usually round four is very difficult. This guy... So the problem with this, this game is whenever you fall behind, it's difficult to come back. So yeah, that's kind of an issue. Yeah, I think they're talking about like one player leaking. We got anchor. <laughs> this guy's referring as an anchor. That's that's kind of sad. It's like heavyweight, dragging everyone down, sinking the ship, or just stabilizing the ship. That's how you should see it. We're getting a little bit of uh, bounty from this, which is good. So what am I thinking here? Round five. I mean, obviously a light. Armor, so we could probably get some more pierce. More pierce is very good. Mm. Got a colt here, which we can upgrade eventually. I mean, I see myself getting a few more, maybe one more of this. I can even challenge a champion. I feel like it's risky. You know, let's let's do it. We're gonna go all out, boys. Let's go all out. We did get a lot of leagues, so hopefully we're gonna be able to carry this. And plus we have slow, I mean, how... There's no way we're going to be leaking this, right? So we got a lot of archers, elite archers. We did challenge a champion for the greed because we're going to be getting extra bounty. And we have tree of time, good aura, slow aura, plus um, endurance. Just going to empower our um, elite archers. But the thing... Oh, they sent again. Wow. These guys are ballsy to say the least. That is, uh, sending again? Okay. 
Okay, I see how it is. Our anchor doesn't like that. <laughs> to your channel? If you do, give you a kiss. <laughs> if you don't give you a kiss. How does that how does that how does that uh you know sound to you? So we got you know Zeus's, which are arguably one of the best um pierced units in game. So we're gonna be massing those in the back. The only problem is that we're getting a sea drown next next up, so that's might be a problem. That's awesome. Yeah, 13.5k. So big shout out to all the new subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. You've been showing a lot of love to the recent videos, so Keep liking the videos, throwing in some comments. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much. Subbed. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. I'm, I'm serious. This, that guy's a beast. Absolute legend. Let's go for a few Zeus's. Gonna go for two, and then the rest we're gonna be going for this. A like so. I don't wanna build too much, too much dead value. I've seen you before. Ah, maybe. The only thing I'm worried about is next round. I mean, I do have auras. So hopefully we're going to be fine. Would have been nice. I forgot to build. I mean, I really want to build more butchers. They're so good, man. They're so strong. Look at the health. Look at the health. Look at the armor. I mean, I, I'd be I, completely insane to not build them, right? Send. So the thing is, if you send here, you get three times the amount of send. So guys, every time we send, three times the amount. So that's gonna be complete. It doesn't impact your um, your income, but it does impact the uh, opponents or pretty much the gold you receive from clearing the wave. So this is the death, famous death dragon, very overpowered. So I mean, I remember carrion spitters being pretty good. Um, obviously, thunderbirds are good too. She just leaves. Not Sam! Where's my boy Sam? He just gave up on me, man. Can't believe he just left us. He did feed us quite a bit, so now it's gonna be three versus four. Let's see if we can win this. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see. I'm not gonna, I'm, let's not push, guys. Let's not over commit on the push. We are a two. This is very good for round seven. I feel like I wanna make sure that I'm holding the wave before doing anything. Could have sent extra units, but I guess it didn't have time. More Zeus's. I'm so happy. I'm so happy more Zeus's. I didn't challenge champion because that would be a, like a massive mistake. We have like good amount of Zeus's, good amount of elite archers. Tanks are good up front. Flow is good. Endurance aura is working well. Adepts are putting in work. The thing is, can we hold this round? That's the question. I mean, hopefully we can. Still a lot of Zeus is up in the back, but I'm going to be taking significant more amount of damage. I feel like I'm going to be like barely leaking here. Man, Thunderbirds are broken. Okay, wait. I still believe? I still believe? Are we holding this? We did! No freaking way. Let's go. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. I'm so happy. I'm not an anchor. This is this is Pog. Ch oh, they have no king. Oh my god, three heals left. They do have Immolation, which is pretty good versus this round, but let's see if it makes a difference. He like 140. Man, Immolation is so broken, man. It's doing so much damage. It's king of bed. So, we do have some auras which we can utilize, I think. Um, this would be pretty good. I would like an Ihydra for round for the upcoming round. Get myself, I'm gonna mass Zeus, guys. I need Zeus's. Zeus's are the way to go. So, I could also place, hmm, I'll place these over here. Um, so I'm gonna have a spot for. The famous 
Let me go for one Hydra. Right here, actually. Woo! Just in time. Perfect. So I have a Hydra, which is fantastic. We have a lot of Zeus's in the back. Hopefully that's going to be enough pierce damage. Um, did place down two Auras, which is fantastic, which is uh, pretty much the Ice Shield giving me a little bit of more damage um, return to um, pretty much like uh, Thorn's Aura, essentially. Taking uh, so pretty much damage that it's dealt to the uh, target has has been pretty much uh, return damage to... It's only, uh, you know, melee attackers, so it's not like it affects this round, but it's still going to be pretty good in the long run. Another sign we anchoring gear, man. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I think it was if Thunderbirds are pretty good. They don't have too much health. I think it's their range, right? Then they do splash damage. Very good. We have Hydras, which do split. Nothing we really want here, so we're just going to be... I mean, Guardian of Death is a fantastic tank. Lars is holding. Pink is holding. We're good. Come on, boys, step it up. Come on, chop, chop. No messing around. I'm gonna push one more time. I promise. Last time. So at this point, I'm just gonna be going for obviously Ice Troll for next round. Obviously, they do magic damage, which is pretty good, but I'm pretty much like thinking about um, the return damage. So yeah, at this point, I'm just like maxing out my Zeus, getting as much Pyrrhus, getting ready for round 10. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be fine holding that round. So I guess th these guys want to send on round 10. We can definitely do that, I feel like. But uh, we're kind of... Are we weak? I don't think we hold too well. Kind of want to like just not send and upgrade king so we get that passive income and we're a little bit less vulnerable oh very good this is huge wow these are very good rolls perfect so i got i got myself good tanks and i also have the melial essentially what melials do is they enhance incoming pierce damage so that's what's really good about them. So obviously since I have mainly pierce damage, having this is going to be fantastic. Because that's going to make pretty much all the targets that it hits um, take, I think, 25% extra damage from pierce. And since I have a lot, you know, a decent amount of Zeus in the back, they're going to be doing a crazy amount of damage. So I can get myself extra tanks and I can also... Um, get myself Knolls, which do reduce attack rate from bosses, if I remember correctly. Uh, probably want to get... Okay, so let's upgrade these before I forget. I do have a lot of gold, 30 seconds, so I need to step on it a little bit. Um, maybe get a few Knolls, you know? I could sell these, all, the, so I'm not too worried. I probably want to get some more Tonks. So get, like, these. Two of these, I think that's going to be completely fine. Eighty mm, deadly poison. I think this is pretty much the best I could do. So I do have like a, like very good tanks, um, good frontline too. So it's it's very looking very good. Plus I have reduction damage reduction from. Oh, I didn't upgrade that cult. That might have been like the death of me. We'll see. So see, I'm doing a crazy amount. The second you see the the particle effect. On this target, it is under the effect of um, Precision, which is the ability from the Malial. So they take an absurd amount of damage. So yeah, I mean, decent hold. My team is a little bit heavy, but you know, Vimp is carrying as per usual. So hopefully we're going to be killing these demons. That's going to be a lot of gold coming in. Very good. I'm, I'm getting fed, boys. This is good. Casually carrying my team. I mean, that's a lot of leaks. We didn't send, so hopefully we were kind of like hoping for this game to last a little bit longer than round 10, which was uh, the previous record for the video. So I, I wanted to go for a little bit later. We could have potentially went for um, this round send, but I feel like it would have ruined the game a little bit because I feel like we we're very bad. So I feel it was a good decision on my part to just, you know, play it safe. No reason for us to like overextend or play it dumb, right? Use King. 
kill these should be like a very easy time for us. Let's upgrade King. Start pushing Lumber. Let's get into the second part of the game. I'm excited. Let's go for it. We got really good auras too, so... This is gonna be good, boys. It's gonna be good. So yeah, now it's the arena. Hopefully we're gonna be able to win this. We do have extra two, two turtles, which hopefully gonna work uh, well for us. The thing is with the turtles, they're, since it's three versus four, we're gonna get extra units in there, so... It's gonna be a cluster F, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, difficult to understand what's happening, but hopefully these turtles do the splash and just clear the waves and all that good stuff. Um, they have really good units. They even, like, sent here, I guess. We sent 12 or what? I don't know when the usual round is to send here. I don't know what... Uh, I'm going to ask my teammates. Maybe they know. So we did lose this. We're going to lose, what, 200 or 300 gold? Usually I like to win arena, but yeah, happens. Got a, like, a really good amount of DPS, right? As you guys noticed. Um, the only thing we would be lacking is maybe a little bit more... Stable. No way I just called that. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. I literally just called Hydras. What? What is my luck? I'm 10, 10, 8, which is, I think, plenty. I don't want to push plant past that. There's no point. Not yet, at least. Maybe after 12. So I want to get a few Hydras. Seducer is pretty good. Um, more Meliles. I don't know if more Meliles is going to do much. I mean, it is pretty good. Maybe getting one extra one. Like, I remember these being fantastic for bosses. So maybe getting a few in the, in the back, which I will consider go going for. But the main thing is probably just Hydras. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of Ballistas, a lot of income for us. So uh, let's get to it, guys. I mean, I can only build one, which kind of sucks. It's fine. It's soul villains, I guess. I feel like they're not going to do much this round. I feel like I'd benefit a lot more for, from Ents. For round 20, for example, right? Job done, job done, do you have Entangle? Let's see if it works. I don't know if it, like placing units here works. Please? It does work. That's fantastic. That's really good. So we're going to have really good units safe for later, later stages of the game. So Hydras are, should be carrying me pretty well here. Oh, no, wait. It's not. Oh, my God. I completely forgot. This is different armor types. So yeah, this is different from uh, actually um, from Hellhold because usually these have divine armor instead of uh, medium. So they take significant less amount of damage from Hydra, which I thought was good on you know, this round. So I'm kind of bad at this game apparently. So no leaks. I could push a little bit more. Let's push nine, ten, um, ten, nine. Hopefully, nothing I really want from this roll. I think, unless I want to go for maybe some cavaliers or cavaliers up front. Which I guess could be good for, with, for 17, 14, which I would assume that's when they're going to be sending. Plus I have like an absurd amount of, like I have slow, which obviously counters next round. But what's important is the absurd amount of pierce that I have, right? So that's going to be very good. So we're going to be stacking on hopefully like uh, Disable for round 20, which I feel like that's going to be their queue. The thing is also 16 is probably going to be a very difficult round to go. That's usually when, whenever people send, I think. I shouldn't have commanded to attack. I should have just commanded to attack over here. So let's see the boss. As, as you see, boss is providing a good amount of aura or just uh, light regeneration to uh, nearby units. And that's why it's usually pretty, pretty difficult to deal with. But again, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, my units are just so strong. So I did get extra gold for this round. I'm not even sure how much it gives you extra. Wyverns, tanks. Probably just get this. Oh, I remember these being very good. I want to get some slow. So these two, maybe these three, I want to get this round. We'll see. Maybe they send next. Yeah, I would assume round 14 is the way whenever people send. But we're obviously going to be going for 16. So let's see how that goes.
Hopefully we're going to be fine, but I mean, never know. Oh, they're not even sending. That's good. That's really good for me. Because <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that run. It would have been bad. I could have... I didn't even challenge a champion. Yeah, these machine robots do like... Um, good amount of pierce and they have the multi-shot. Not multi-shot, but the bats effect or something. Alright. Looking pretty spicy, guys. Looking like a spicy game for sure. I don't know what to get from this. I feel like it's all bad. I think we might just all go 16, which might be the uh, end of the game, hopefully. Uh, but we might get some more Pierce before that, that's for sure. Um, like, high boards are pretty good. Uh, good auras. I don't see what else we would go for. Biotoxin Biotoxins, I think, was good also for bosses. Maybe we could get a few hatchlings in the back. A lot of good, uh, decent units, you know. When would they be sending, though? I guess 16. But I feel like that would make no sense, because we have a lot of peers. They might go 17 if, when I think about it. But I feel like even though you have a lot of, like, peers, it doesn't matter. 16 is such a difficult round. The entangled units, so that's pretty good. The only problem is with, um... But this game is that whenever we, um, we're currently playing a four versus three, so we're, the, the amounts, we're all over, already getting a crazy amount of units, right? So, um, not only that, but now we're going to be getting, uh, two times, or two times the amount, or I don't even know how many times, because the thing is, like, all those four sands are going to be, like, spread across a uh, less amount of players, so yeah, that's going to be difficult to handle. We got already got all of these auras, I'm just going to be massing Colts in the back. Hopefully it works out. The thing is, we don't have any any food in this game, which is good. Uh, let's see. A few leaks here. That's completely fine. So, let's see if we uh, somehow manage to uh, hold next round. It's going to be a difficult one. I feel like they have a lot of Zeus's, a lot of Melisles. Their front line is mostly heavy armor, so it might be very... Uh, it might do a lot of damage. Hmm. Job done. Job done. Job done. So yeah, let's get these Colts. They're obviously very good for um, single fact that you know they have um, the ability called Disturb, which reduces the attack rate of incoming uh, or pretty much all the units. So it's obviously very good. So we're going to be massing these in the back. They're going to be very useful later stages of the game. Probably want to go for more Warlocks. Why not? And uh, that's going to be pretty much all she wrote for my build. That's good. I'm happy about this. We got a good good amount of pierce. So, I mean, if we don't hold this, it is what it is. Um, can't do much about that. Maybe would have been nice to save for a few more infernals, but I did decide to go for armor instead, which might be uh, the death of us. Do we do we have pandas in there? What we, do we do? Let's get that life regeneration. Life regeneration plus maybe let's even get. Um, I'll even send in some shamans, why not? They're, they didn't even send? So I guess they're sending next. That got me confused, boys. Because usually this round is the, the difficult round. Let's see if they hold. Look at this, my, my front line got completely annihilated. Holy. But it still, I seem to be doing fine. Imagine with Sen, guys. Infernal is a demon. This would have been a very difficult round to handle. So I'm excited to see how these guys do. I mean, both all both my teammates are leaked with no sand. Imagine. So yeah, it's pretty much all up to me. I have a, a little bit of armor reduction. I could go for these tempests for siege, but I feel like I want to go for the hero. Um, Priestess of the Moon could be good. Dark Ranger might be a little bit better though. I guess we resend. But yeah, they're going to be taking a lot of damage. I feel like they have a few heals down.
He's uh, massing wolves. <laughs> I think it's over anyways. Yeah, should be over. I mean, roll presence usually is pretty good, but that's way too many units. To be honest. That's way too many units. GG well played, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, Legion TD Holt. What a blast I had. I feel like I carried my team. Look at these, all of these losers. Too much hanker, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I might even call the video like that. <laughs> even the guy that left is a loser. Funny. All right, guys, the carry is back, baby. Let's let's do this. This was super fun. If you guys want to see more Legion TD in the future, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support as always. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.